Hi everyone, back at you with another pick a card. This time's about what is beautiful about you. Now we have pile number one, two, and three. Pause if you need to choose. Go to the timestamps for a quicker access to your pile. And let's start with the oracle, the goddess oracle. And so your first card is Athena. And it says inner wisdom. Okay, so your inner wisdom is part of what makes you so beautiful. You may be psychic, um, and uh, actually your intuition and your instincts work very well. Uh, you're possibly, you could either be a Pisces or an Aries. I know that's quite random, but um, that's what I'm picking up here. You could be either or and have either your instincts or your intuition very tuned in, but basically whatever your intuition is telling you this is what you know is true so never doubt your intuition intuition and trust your inner wisdom and take a pr appropriate action without delay so basically take that um, intuition and act accordingly okay don't wait for other people to tell you what to do so this is what's beautiful about you you have an inner wisdom an inner knowing the owl may be significant to you. It may be your animal totem. Maybe you know about this. If not, well then, this is a sign that you should read about uh, owls and animal totem owl. Here we have Aerakura, and it's about blossoming. So people see you blossoming, and this makes you beautiful in the eyes of people. So you're just getting started. Have, have patience with yourself in the process and do not give up. I, I get a feeling that you have been through some rough times and you're thinking about starting something new. So this is them giving you, spirit giving you the green light, okay? Um, and in this case, the goddess is giving you the green light, okay? Um, to uh, not give up and just uh, be patient because things aren't going to just unfold. But basically, people see you blossoming, and that's what makes you beautiful right now. Three of air, great sadness. So yeah, so this is this must be what you have been you've gone through in the past, and actually, in your sadness, there's beauty. Okay, um, you're beautiful because you've been through things, and you've you've come out the other way, and now you're blossoming. So. There was a time of great sadness in your life. You took some time to heal. You're probably still healing. And there's a need to forgive. And in that forgiveness, there's beauty, okay? You may also be, uh, you may also have some heavy air, air, um, air signs in your chart. Then we have King of Fire. So people see you as motivated, idealistic, ambitious, charismatic. These are always thing, all things that make you beautiful. Your focus, your ability to focus, the the, the way you communicate with vision, you're you're a, a leader, so that ties into you may have actually fire and water in your chart as well. You may be on a cusp like a Pisces Aries cusp or you may be a Pisces with a lot of fire, or your progressed Pisces may be an Aries right now. And so you're taking on some Aries characteristics. This, this happens a lot to people in their 20-somethings, 30s. They are progressed, if they're Pisces, they're progressed into Aries, that's very common. Or you may just have a lot of fire and water in your chart. But basically, um, you are a, a leader, a natural born leader. And uh, you're a creative person as well. That's where your beauty lies as well. I'm seeing some fire, some water, sign, Pisces more specifically, um, Aries more specifically. Uh, this is what I'm hearing. And some air maybe, but let's keep going. We have the nine of air. So believe it or not, your anxiety is also what makes you beautiful. So probably the fact that you never um, rest and you're always worried about other people as well. Um, but this actually, this is something that Spirit is telling me to let you know that this will soon be over. You know, these probably be, you've been having sleep, sleepless nights. Don't worry about that because that is energy that's uh, being washed out and it may be of the influence of air in your 
in your chart. Then we have the moon and we have Archangel Haniel here with us. Thank you very much for being here with us and for all your messages. So basically your your plans because we're in Mercury retrograde as well. You know, this is saying that you, you're getting the opportunity to improve your plans, okay? The moon is also a Pisces uh, card in the traditional tarot and is also a sign of beauty. So you may have a natural beauty that stems from your intuition so it's something it's a very spiritual beauty but it comes from the inside out or from the outside in basically like imagine you, you like our spirit is not trapped in our body right so our body is actually inside our spirit so the beauty of your spirit comes through and you physically and you're very ethereal okay you have the kind of angelic beauty okay uh, very feminine moon energy um, and you're getting the opportunity to improve your plans now during this Mercury retrograde as well. I mean, this is a timeless reading, but right now it's Mercury retrograde. So just, and it may be in the future when you watch this, but that, that's just a little side note. Uh, again, this is telling us, listen to your intuition for accurate guidance, face your fears and grow stronger. So you seem to have an issue with fears and those fears are blocking your intuition. Now, if you listen to your intuition without listening to your fears and anxieties, you would go very, very far. You would go even farther, okay? So there we go, beautiful. You must be psychics, highly intuitive, I'm sure, because there's a lot of people who are very intuitive and psychic and watch these videos. Ten of Raphael, so people see that you are full of love and your life is full of blessings when it comes to harmonious relationships with your family uh, and they also see you as someone uh, the beauty in you um, is is that of someone who could make a very beautiful happy family and someone to have a happily ever after with these are beautiful cards guys you just need to get your anxiety under check you know get do some forgiveness that's still lingering and again they see you as someone who brings harmony so I'm also getting some Libra vibes here okay um, yeah so you may have some water like Pisces strong Aries I see Libra as well in your chart okay so people see you as someone who brings harmony into situations Oh man, people see you as a very, very loving person and people see you as someone who's capable of loving themselves as well. So yeah, the love in you makes you beautiful. Also, you're someone who is able to stand your ground and this makes you beautiful because as you do so, you do this in a very diplomatic way that brings harmony to everyone. You're not out, you're not all in it for yourself and people really see this, okay? Yeah, and you may also be a healer, okay? In your energy, people are very attracted to your energy. Your beauty lies a lot within your energy as well okay because it's a healing kind of energy and people see you as free you're free you love your freedom you know you love people you love to be there for them you love to work and cooperate and be in partnerships with people harmonious ones but you also need your freedom and people love the way they see you as someone who is free and also your spirituality brings you a lot of freedom okay again another uh, card for families so yeah, definitely, you may be a mother and people see beauty in this, okay? People see your beauty in being a mom and people, a mother or a father who's ever, I mean, demographically, most of you are watching are females and yeah, this is a very female uh, energy, but this could be divine feminine, divine masculine, but the, the energy is very much mostly female. And um, yeah, your femininity, your family values, people see those and people see you as being able to make a very happy family. Also, they see you as very wise, again, 
with Archangel Uriel. It's, this is another. So you have Haniel and Uriel, two archangels that are very close to you, working closely with you. And Archangel Uriel is the Archangel of Wisdom. So again, we have Wisdom. You're very, very wise. And your emotions are healing right now. And this is enabling you to open to this greater love. Um, you need to release some anger. Archangel Uriel will help you with this and unforgiveness again from your heart and mind So you need to work on this forgiveness Just so that your experience can be more loving even more loving, but you're a very attractive person purple um, Your or, yeah clairvoyance. There we go. This is our clair clairvoyant um, uh, Pile definitely um, the fact that you are able to see beyond what most people can see, this makes you very beautiful. This is where your beauty lies a lot in your spirituality, which comes out then physically, in your physical. So you may also look younger than your age. We have the snake here, rebirth, release, and integration, because you've understood through your spirituality that age is really just a number, that age you look how you feel and you work on manifesting that youthfulness by constant processes of awakening, rebirth, and releasing toxicity in every sense, physical, spiritual, emotional, so that you can integrate and become who you want to be, basically. Very powerful energy going on here. Now, if you had any answer about the spring, uh, about uh, something some desire fully manifesting you have an indication here about the spring but people also you probably born in spring uh, I think Pisces ends uh, more or less the end of Pisces the beginning of Aries is springtime so you might have you could have been born in the springtime or people see you this is for the northern hemisphere. Of course, I'm not talking about the southern hemisphere, but people see you as spring-like, okay? Blooming, blossoming, there we go, spring-like, like a breath of fresh air, the beginning of something, very fresh. And we have the one here, beginnings. So you may have very youthful, even though you're so wise, you have a youthful and fresh energy about you. Also, you may have traveled a lot and um, this has changed your life and this life change, this, this, the fact that you, you're very enriched, uh, culturally en enriched by travel, people see that and they're very attracted to that as well. Okay, now, um, you have an, an ability to let go of what no longer serves you and this makes you quite beautiful as well because then it feeds into that rebirth and you just moving on and being your best self, really. You're also someone able of waiting for perfect timing, so you're not pushy. You just wait for the perfect time. You listen to your intuition and you move forward uh, when the time is right. So you have a great sense of timing, a great sense of moving forward when you need to, motivated, idealistic, but you're not in a hurry. You want things to go in the right time. And that's beautiful about you. Also, the fact that you're so connected to your angels. People may not know about that, but they sense there's something different about you, something very, very ethereal, very special, okay? And that you can thank your, an your angels and yourself for connecting to them. Also, the fact that your people, you may have your anxieties, but people see that in the midst of any sadness or anxiety you go through, you're still able to keep calm and collected through, um, you know, you're almost like able to go into a meditative state when other people are just all like really stressed out about um, life in general. So guys, I'm very happy for you. This is a beautiful pile. And I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please like. If you like my channel, please subscribe because it helps me out bring you more of these messages from the angels. I am a, an angel channeler. Um, also, if um, you would like to see any other questions you would like to see answers, please leave them down in the comment section. And if this resonated with you, let me know down below in the comment section as well. But for now, thank you. Bye. See you soon. I'm moving on to pile number two. Welcome, my dear pile number two. Let's see what we have for you.
Okay, so first message coming from the uh, Goddess Oracle, we have Green Terra, okay? So basically, people see the beauty in the fact that you are able to do everything by yourself, okay? It seems like you are very talented and able to do a lot of things that people, some people would only know how to do one of those things. Uh, the thing is, just keep in mind that you may need to start delegating because, um, yeah, you're overburdening yourself and you are under the risk of burnout. So just take this into account. But there's a beauty in all that you can do and people see this beauty in you. Now we have Mother Mary, okay? So basically, you have almost an immaculate um, spiritual aura to you. Um, you're touched by God. You are uh, very mother-like and, um, and you're very spiritual and you're very connected to God and people see this beauty in you. Also, there's a message here that your prayers, just have faith that your prayers have been heard and being answered. Your life experience makes you beautiful. And we have Archangel Shamuel here. Okay, something significant happened in your life. You got a powerful revelation that led you to change. And you finally spread your wings. If this didn't happen, this will soon happen. And there's transformation. And in this transformation brought by your life experience, this made you beautiful, even more beautiful than you ever thought. And you actually, you either were or you will be very surprised at what you can accomplish and what you can become. You probably have no idea. And you'll you either know what I'm talking about or, or you'll see what I'm talking about very soon. Okay, so I see some fire energy here. So you may be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Uh, this talks about someone, you have a lot of confidence. You're very warm-hearted. You're intelligent. You're graceful. And this makes you beautiful. The, the way you stretch your wings and fly. Um, people see this. People see that you're flying high. You may uh, be an artist into acting. Uh, more specifically, maybe an actress or an actor. Um, you may be very comfortable on a stage, speaking to a lot of people. You're independent. You're creative. Uh, so don't underestimate yourself, okay? Don't forget that this is who you are. Or you may just have heavy fire in your sign. Um, you may not be like a... Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, Sun, but you may be, either of these can be a Moon, Mercury, any other placement that's strong, but you have this strong confidence about yourself, You're very warm, very intelligent, and very graceful. Now we have the Page of Water. Yeah, so yeah, I was getting a feeling that there's, uh, yeah, this confidence. You're very artistic. People see this. You're very friendly. You're very sensitive. You're very intuitive as well. Okay, and there may be someone new entering your life, okay? Or you may be restarting a relationship with someone from the past. And this is right now, as I'm filming this, this is Mercury retrograde, but take this as it resonates in any time frame, in any time, because this reading is timeless, okay? But you may have, yeah, or you, you may have also some um, water in your chart or someone, uh, you know, a, a water sign may be entering your life as well, but you have these, um, you know, you have these characteristics about yourself, the intuition, sensitivity, artistic, you're friendly, you're confident, you're warm, you know, I mean, who wouldn't love you, right? I mean, how is this not beautiful? This is so beautiful. Then we have the three of Raphael, the fact that you are able to celebrate, let loose, you know, even it's like you work hard and you play hard and people see this so it's, and, you, and you're such a friendly person. So you're really very alive, you know, you're very in tune and you're very, wow, it's like it's, the, 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 um, the feeling I'm getting is so much energy and power and, and emotion, you know, I'm feeling my heart chakra like really... You may also be, you could be Aquarius. Yeah, I'm getting the sign Aquarius as well. 
And um, yeah, your friends and your community is very important to you and you make this known, you know, to people and you like to celebrate with people, either your own achievements or other people's achievements. And people love that about that, you, that you're a great friend as well. Okay, now we have <clears throat> the Six of Gabriel. So Archangel Gabriel is here with you as well. So we have Raphael and Gabriel. Gabriel is actually a patron of the arts, okay, and for writers and just anything artistic and creative. Um, and Raphael is of healing and emotion. So yeah, this seems to be, you're either an actor or a musician or just a very creative person who loves to be around people and loves to collaborate. Um, but you, you, you tend to take on too much. Anyway, people see you as victorious, okay? You work hard, you play hard, you, you celebrate, and people are there to cheer you on because they see a lot of value in you, okay? And you're probably someone who gets uh, promoted a lot, you get awards, or you may expect to get an award soon, and you're always moving to the next project, and people find you very dynamic and just full of life, you know? Um, Again, oh my goodness, you know, this is the same as that one there, Three of Cups, and this is also the, the Three of Cups. Yeah, you have a lot to celebrate in your life, and you're very uh, in tune with your community. You have a lot of people who find you very beautiful as well. A lot of people. And there's, uh, there's beauty in the way you connect to people. Also, you're very prosperous. And this makes you beautiful. You know, your hard work really makes you beautiful. And the way you give to people and the way you, you're just there for people. You're also very, like you don't waste time. It's like you're very to the point and when you decide something, you just go for it and you don't waste time. You just, it's just very quick. What, whatever you do is just quick. You don't wait around, you don't procrastinate. You don't spend too much time planning or worrying or it's just your very free energy. And people also see beauty in you as a, a mother, a wife, a sister, a daughter, just very feminine and people really drawn to that. And you actually might have a lot of people who would like to marry you and see you as wife material and the mother to, to, to their daughter. I mean, you can, you can, if you're watching this, if you're a male watching this, um, yeah, this could be, you're cross-watching for someone else or, um, yeah, this could be your energy as well. You're very devoted and you have these, you know, feminine qualities as well, which work, you're very in touch with your feminine side. Okay, now fertility. So people see you as someone fertile. Um, you may be a mother, you may be a father, uh, and um, you can give birth to creative projects just like this, you know, it's like, Amazing, amazing energy here. I'm just getting so ooh, pumped up. Um, also, your your desired outcome will occur in the very near future. So there we go. So you, you, you're you on something, you go, you get it done, you're victorious, and then you're flying high. But you need to work a little bit on patience. Keep charging ahead. The fact that you don't take no for an answer and you just expect miracles to happen because you're very in tune with spirit. This makes you very beautiful as well. Now this, this is starting to seem a lot like pile one, this energy. So this may be one progressed uh, into the future. If you watched pile, if you're watching this, go and watch pile one as well. Because you also have a very spring-like um, energy and there I also see a mix of fire and water here in your chart so you may also have a lot of fire and water in your chart you may your birthday may be in the spring or something significant may happen in the spring but anyway you're very good at starting new projects and renewing whatever you do you are very capable of reinventing yourself. Reinventing yourself. I cannot make this up. Look at this. This is an opera singer, could be an actress or just a singer. Okay, this may be you. 
um, and people see you in all your glory with the spotlight on you, okay? Um, yeah. There may be some choices coming your way or you need you may need to be making some choices now, okay? And you may need to switch courses here. Yeah, there's your ability to say goodbye to the old and, you know, just renew yourself. This is very similar to pile one. And there may be something that you're saying goodbye to. Um, yeah, and um, maybe all that workload, you need to start delegating. And um, also, you've, you've come to the end of a cycle. And a better part of your life is now beginning, okay? And people see that. People see you, you know, just very motivated, very ready, very, you know, onto it. You're beginning stuff. You're quick about it. You're, this is, this is a time you're not waiting around. Yeah, your birthday may be in the springtime or a significant birthday may be in the springtime here. There's something you may need to reconsider and people also see you have the ability to reconsider things as well. You're not just a stubborn person who just moves forward. You think about stuff if people, you know, you listen to people and you actually, there are things that you reconsider and this is also Mercury retrograde. This is a time of the re's, restructure, re reconsider, re you know, rewrite, um, reevaluate, you know, everything with a re. And so now is the time for you to reconsider something. Recovery. I can't make this up. It's a time to recover. You're very tired. You need to start to rethink some things, you know, and use this time to recover now. Things may be moving at a slower pace right now, so you may be needing to take some time to rethink, reconsider, recover, okay? Uh, also, the letter R may be important to you. And big happy changes. You may have experienced this or you will soon. And there's a lot of beauty in you. Um, and forgiveness. People see your ability to forgive and that is something beautiful. Okay, guys, I'm going to leave it at this. This was a beautiful reading, highly energized. You don't need me to tell you anything. Very happy for you. If you like this reading, please give me a like. It helps my channel. Please subscribe if you, if you like my channel so I can bring you more of this content. It helps a lot. Um, also, uh, if this resonated with you, please let me know down below how it resonates in the comment section. If there's some other topic you would like to see me um, explore in a reading, Please leave that in the comment section as well. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and share. Hit the notification bell button so that you are notified as soon as another of my readings comes out. Okay, so for now, bless all of you, and see you soon. Hello, welcome, Pile 3. So let's see what we have for you. So from the Goddess Oracle, we have Amy. What's beautiful about you, pile three? So we have Amy. What's beautiful about you is your ability to take a leap of faith. You are not afraid of taking risks and putting your heart's true desire into action. And people find this beautiful. Look at this. Look at this person, this angel flying and just trusting the process. This is beautiful. There's beauty in letting go and not letting anxiety in the way. You're very free and people love that about you. It's very beautiful. And you know there's infinite supply. You know this, that you're supplied for today and all of your tomorrows because you trust and you're a manifester as well. So you know you're a co-creator, so you don't worry. And that comes out as very, you know, people see that as very inspiring and beautiful. That just makes you worryless, you know. It just makes your whole um, demeanor really light and loving. And people love that about you. And it's really, you know, it's beautifying, you know. Imagine all the wrinkles people could avoid just by being very positive And just by, you know, just not worrying because they know, they, you know, they're in contact with God. They're connected. Um, 
people see you as very logical, honest, impulsive, and curious. And this, this is what makes you beautiful. Also, I can see the, the first um, thing that um, is um, catching my eye is this unicorn here. So you may be different from your usual uh, person and people find that very beautiful. There's a lot of beauty in that. You're also capable of doing things by yourself. You don't always, you're sometimes a little bit of a lone wolf uh, because you know you have spirit with you. You don't feel alone. You don't feel lack. And you always also uh, quite, um, you're very strong and uh, probably a little bit, you may like, like cats and you may be feline-like. Um, but I'm also seeing uh, some air energy here, so you may be an air sign, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah, and people see you as a star, okay? Um, very optimistic, very um, even happy. Do people see you as someone happy and, um, and star-like? You know, um, you may be a star seed. Yeah. And look at that beautiful card. Look at this. You may be an Aquarius. You may be an Aquarius. It's a lot of air energy here. Yeah, people see you capable of a lot. You were very strong. You take on a lot of burdens. Um, and people see you working too much and there's a beauty in that, but just be careful with burnout, okay? Accept help from others. This is a lot like pile number two in that sense. You need to accept more help from others because you li your life may be a little bit out of balance. You're working too much right now and you may have some fire in your, in your charts. This also means that you're coming to an end of some, some cycle in your life. Yeah, and there's some sadness in you. Um, yeah, but the, the fact that you're able to see the silver lining in any situation makes you very beautiful. So you're able to see <clears throat> the lessons and the blessings in situations, and that makes you very beautiful. And that's why you're able to move forward and take risks and not worry because, yeah, something, something bad may have happened, but you know that that's not always going to be the case. Because normally, when you wish, your dreams become reality. And you're just a joyful person. You just trust the process and people find that beautiful about you. Also, the fact that you're able to... Um, you're very in touch to, with your basic needs and you take care of them and you're self-sufficient and independent. People also find that very beautiful. And because you're very passionate, a lot of people may fall in love with you very quickly because they see you just as very passionate about everything you do. And you're also very in tune with spirit. And... Um, and you just, you know, if your intuition is telling you something, you just go go with it and trust the process because you're very in tune. And you may also be in a twin flame journey. So this is my twin flame pile, and you may be very close to that. And so the fact that you've chosen to work um, on yourself to get closer to your twin flame um, that process is, yeah, you're, you're at the end of one process because you're getting closer to being with your twin flame. And yeah, this is the ultimate beauty, you know. You've just taken care of yourself, your needs, your, um, um, your own journey so that you can reconnect with your twin flame. You are able of balancing uh, your career with your home life. There's a lot of wisdom in you. And you know how to balance things and people find that beautiful you're also able to honor and follow the guidance of your heart and bring in prosperity quite quite easily and that's beautiful 
fact that you know when to spend time alone in nature, the fact that you're very meditative and very connected to your angels make also makes you very, very attractive. Also, your birthday may be around autumn time or something significant is going to happen, but people see you as very abundant. And you may also be preparing for something that's going to happen, that's going to bring in its fruits in autumn time. But people see you as very abundant. And the fact that you're able to use your imagination and you're just, uh, yeah, a very peaceful person. You're very peaceful. People see that and that's beautiful. Also the fact that you have learned to surrender the need to control. Your relaxed energy is attracting people to you, is making you more beautiful. The fact that you know when and how to let go. And this is exactly what's going to bring you in everything you need. Your connection with children is a very good one. And this makes you very beautiful as well. You may be a mother, a father as well. You're successful or you have a lot of, you have a, a huge ability to be successful and people see that in you. Also, you may have had a health, a health issue, either mental or physical but you've, you've managed to improve your health or you will be able to. Also, the fact that you're able to very, communicate very clearly, okay? This makes you very beautiful. Your communication style is beautiful. You may have a beautiful voice. And the way you talk to people is beautiful. Also, the way you're able to just wait for things and not force things to happen and trust the process is beautiful. And right now we're in Mercury retrograde. This is a timeless reading, so it may resonate in other senses in the future if someone watches this in the future, but it's asking you to wait. So there's something you want right now, but it may, may take um, two weeks or three, three weeks to get that. So just be patient and work on uh, reviewing something, okay, for now. So guys, this is a beautiful reading. I hope you really enjoyed it. If it resonates, please let me know in the comment section down below and let me know how it resonates. If you would like to see other topics on this, please let me know also in the comment section. Uh, if you like my channel, please subscribe. It'll help me bring you more of this content. If you like this video, please hit the like button. It helps to get more views as well. Um, and um, hit the bell notification if you'd like to hear more of these and watch more of these uh, readings and on time and as soon as, soon as they come out. Um, so basically, please like, comment, share, subscribe. And I'll see you soon in the next Pick a Card. Thank you very much for watching. See you soon. Blessings. Bye.